Hey, this is Rich over at TVP Live with another quick tips brought to you by Adobe Photoshop Elements Tutorials Group. And let's jump right into today's um, poster. Want us to know how to add bangs to the Miss Johnson here. And she actually reminds me of um, Jennifer Lawrence. I've worked with her a couple times, so um, they, they're very similar. Anyway, so my theory is don't reinvent the wheel. If you got something that you can use from somewhere else, go ahead and use it. I picked out another picture that's very similar with the bangs. So in this case, why go through the process of trying to recreate hair here where there is none? So let's just go ahead and just literally just grab some hair from this side and I'm going to grab the polygon tool and grab the lasso and just, just grab a little bit of hair here and include some of the eyes because we'll get rid of all that later like this and I'll right click and I'll hit copy. Now I've got just that section as its own layer. I can drag it up into our other project, which is our original picture right up here. It'll pop right in. I'll drag it back to the middle. As soon as I let go of the mouse, there it is. And obviously it's leaning over just a little bit too far to one side. So we're going to straighten it out with this little doodad right here and we'll bring it over to the eyes are level. And basically what I want to do is just match up the eyes. If the eyes are matched up, Everything else should be darn close. I'm going to lessen the opacity here so I can really match up those eyes so you can see them. And we're just about right on it. So if you can look at the original hairline here, as I toggle back and forth, it's pretty darn close. It might be off just a tad. And I see where the original hairline is. And all I have to do is grab the eraser and get a nice soft brush. So I'm going to scroll down here. Look for a soft brush right around there. And I want something sort of big, let's say about, I don't know, like 50 point. And you can see the round brush there. If I just erase some of this here, you will see that it starts to meld in to the original. As long as we can get this stuff here to mesh. I'm going to grab the smudge tool and smudge a little bit of the original this and you can see this lighter areas where you can see her scalp they start to darken but now let's figure out what we're going to do around the face so i'm going to take the opacity and bring it back down again now i can come down here with an eraser a nice soft brush and start erasing away on the face and the eyes to show the original eyes what do we do over here we can grab a much smaller brush like a 10 point specific portions of the hair that we want to get rid of. And over here, we got our ear showing, so. And then I'll just grab the lasso tool and lasso around everything that beyond what I was erasing on the edge here, like all this stuff here. And let's bring the opacity back up and see what it looks like. Back to 95%. I'm not going to do 100 because 100 might look a little fake. Got a few little pieces here that we want to take the smudge brush. Let's get a small 10 point smudge brush and smudge some of these pieces back. So it looks like they're still there. See that? That looks natural, like a few pieces here. Ultimately, it'll, it'll start to look pretty natural. And it's looking pretty good. The only thing I might add here is there's a little layer that you can see right here where it's kind of lighter along those edges. So let's go ahead and just make a whole new uh, uh, empty layer. Grab the eyedropper tool. Find a nice dark spot like right around there. Grab the brush tool and make it a soft brush. Let's make it a nice 50 point or so. And just paint that in a little bit. We can take our smudge and soften it up. And if you think it's too harsh, it's really easy to take this layer and then just bring it, turn it off and then bring it on little by little until you're satisfied with the mix. And there it is. Take everything out. I smudge this up a little bit, add in her bangs and then cover up this little area with our little extension up there. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple to add bangs and extra hair on people that have other pictures of themselves with the bangs or someone else that has similar colored hair and bangs. Well, that's it for this tutorial. This is Rich calling it quits, saying over and out.